Hey guys, it's Kirsten with my Facebook group, Mini Session Inspiration and Photoshop Education. Uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, check out my podcast, uh, Sleeping on the Job podcast. Um, okay, so someone sent in this picture right here, and I just, and it was a uh, composite, and I was, you know, talking to her about the composite, and then I was like, oh my gosh, she looks like a little cherub. So I thought, how cute would it be to add some wings? So I'm going to show you what I did. So first of all, we need to make room for the wings. So crop, I always do 15 by 11. So I'm going to put her maybe like this. Make sure content aware is checked up here and then hit OK. Um, it helps to cross your fingers. Uh, nope, didn't need to. OK, that looks good enough which is my motto for pretty much everything. Okay, so then we're gonna click on Object Selection Tool. I love this because it's just a quick place to start. So highlight the baby. All right, also looks good enough. Um, I might actually go in and just I snagged this image off of Facebook, so it could be a little on the low resolution side. But let's, oop, we forgot this whole chunk down here. And all right, that looks good enough. Now we're going to hit select and mask to get all this fuzzy stuff. Okay, I believe I'm going to click on invert here and output to a new layer with layer mask and then go ahead and hit OK. And then we're going to turn on the layer down here and highlight that layer. OK, so let's go back. Whoops, that's sorry. That's my daughter's something or other for school. OK, so I did a search of baby wings PNG and the ones I ended up downloading were from PNG find. You can see it right over here. I just clicked on download up here. And they were free. Oh, they were, it worked. So what you're going to do, you're going to highlight the original layer, the background layer. You're going to do file, place embedded, and then PNG find. I think these are the ones. Yep. Hit place. Oh, you know what I did? I made a boo-boo. I hit inverse, invert or whatever, and I wasn't supposed to. So hang on a second. Click on the layer mask of the baby and hit control or command I. My bad. Okay, I'm used to doing something else. Okay, so let's click back on the wings. Click on the move tool. Okay, so I'm going to hold. Actually, what I'm going to do is let's get them inside the this is what I did inside the picture and put them. All right, you can see them peeking out below the back. I'm um, just a masking issue. Well, I guess if I lift them up, that takes care of that. Okay, now I'm gonna hold the shift key because I wanna make them fatter and I don't wanna change the length, just the width. I want them to be a little bit more, a little bigger or a little taller. and then hit OK. And that's pretty much all I did. The masking on the hair is good enough. Anyway, sorry, my dog is barking at the UPS guy. Um, all right, so yeah, that's all I did. And then flatten it, and I would do save as and then do you know the picture plus 
wings. Always save it, just in case they're like, oh, I hate the wings. And then you can be like, oh, I have the original. No big deal. Okay. All right. I'm going to go talk to Wilson. All right. Bye.